All right, hey guys and girls, welcome to the Modern Artisan channel where we try and build some cool stuff and uh, catch some of that stuff on film or digital film anyways. Subscribe so we, you can continue to see new stuff that comes out. Uh, all right, so today I'm showing you these nice colorful circles uh, that we recently did and they don't just look cool, they're acoustically absorbent. So uh, in a space that has an exposed structure, they play a big part in uh, making it more acoustically comfortable. So here we go, cue the theme song. recently contracted to uh, build and install these uh, circles made out of sheets of tectum, which is a, an acoustically absorbent material. Uh, and so here's a page from the blueprint actually. Uh, and you can kind of see, has all these circles on the reflected ceiling plan. And uh, so yeah, there's a uh, different size circle. So, and they're kind of a la layered overlapping each other. So two foot, three foot, and four foot circles. And uh, so yeah, we're, I'm gonna take you through what we did here. Uh, this is less of a, how to because I don't see a lot of people needing to do this uh, and more of just kind of an entertaining glimpse into the, the world of commercial construction and some of the uh, crazy stuff we have to come up with and methods to uh, to produce some of the cool designs you see out there. So uh, let's go. There's a lot of uh, jigs and guides out there for cutting circles like this router one, uh, Festool Carvix jigsaw actually has a nice one too. But I didn't see that working real good on this porous material and it's a real large product. So my idea was to put the product on a turntable and spin it into a bandsaw, which turned out to be a really good idea. There's just a few things to figure out with that. All right, so we're uh, using this router bit. Let's see if we can see that good. And that cuts a T-slot, so which is the uh, perfect shape to slide ceiling grid in there. So after we cut these in a circle, we will slide uh, heavy duty uh, ceiling grid in there and, and we will hang them and that's what will support these. So, uh, so what we're doing now, uh, depending on the size panel we're doing, we're just cutting the grooves right away. We're just routering those out and then we're cutting the circles. We gotta get it, we gotta get it fairly close to the size of the circle. Uh, you know, we gotta clip the corners and stuff because it's gotta be able to pass through. So it can't be, you know, too big. But we can get the rough shape and then we'll put it on the turntable, start the bandsaw, turn it in, and uh, it'll give us per uh, perfect circles. That's the plan anyways, see how it goes. Okay, here we go. We got a, uh, what is this, four by four uh, slab of uh, inch and a half thick Tectum acoustical panel on here. We're gonna try out our jig for uh, cutting the circle. So let me flip this around. We have already cut the grooves in it for the uh, ceiling grid. And it's uh, should be good to go. So we got, so that's the face. We got the face sticking up and uh, that's the back down because there's a spike and so on. Okay, I'm ready. Wait, I wasn't ready. Okay, that's really cool. That worked perfect. So, great. Now what? I guess we got a hundred more to do. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so we've got our acoustical panels. We've got our circles here that are made out of that tectum. They are all shrink wrapped up. Uh, you can see the grooves on the back that we did uh, to uh, put our supporting grid through there. So we're gonna ship these off to the painter. Uh, we are not painting these. There's a uh, painter that is contracted to do all the painting on the job site. So they're gonna paint these uh, and then we will catch up with you then, see what it looks like when we install these and when we get them done. So we had the centers of all of the uh, circles marked out on the floor. And so I had a cardboard template the same size as each of the circles with the grid lines marked in them. So we just took a uh, plumb laser to transfer the marks from the floor to the ceiling. And, uh, and so we could hang our wires exactly where the uh, grid marks or the grid lines were gonna be. And so that was kind of the first step is just getting all the wires exactly where they need to be. So we had a lot of chunks of grid to cut up uh, to the right size to fit inside those uh, Tectum clouds. Um, and yeah, there's probably a faster way to automate this uh, with a bandsaw or even a brace of blade saw. Do a bunch of them at one time. But uh, when you do as much ceiling grade as we do, uh, we're pretty fast at this method too. So uh, yeah, just sat down and got a bunch of them done. Other than spinning out and cutting the first couple circles, this is kind of the fun part is when all the prep work is done and we just start hanging these things and just change the whole look of the room. So yeah, this is us just getting started on these, uh, bending the wires, kinking them at the right place and tying everything up. We'll just go into a time lapse here and show the rest and just fly through it. There was actually several, several rooms uh, at this job that were like this. This was the biggest one. So we just time lapsed installing the one room. Yeah, they turned out really good. I wasn't patient, uh, patient enough to wait for the whole project to get done with all the nice finishes. Uh, but the ceiling is done. So we got a video of that and this is what it looked like. Okay guys, thanks for watching the video on the uh, Tectum acoustical circle installation. You probably never thought that you would watch a video on that, maybe even right before you started it. But uh, here we are and you made it. So thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and, uh, and yeah, so you can check out our next videos coming up. There's some cool stuff coming up. So see you then.